if you do truly want to find the best possible deals. Now, I wanna add an asterisk onto this, and that asterisk is to say that in just about any market, you can find really, really good properties for short-term rental where the returns are really great and they'll perform really well. And in just about any market, you can also find really bad properties where the returns won't be great and you won't make any money at all. And so ultimately, the skill set that you want to get best at as an investor is finding specific properties and finding specific deals and doing the due diligence on those deals to figure out whether they're good or bad. It's less so about finding the perfect market because in my experience, the perfect market doesn't really exist. I think that a lot of investors have it in their head that the perfect market is gonna just crop up somewhere where every single deal cash flows incredibly well and there's no going wrong in that market. And that's just not the truth. Every market has its pros and its cons. And although there are some better markets where you're gonna find more good deals and fewer bad deals and some worse markets where you'll find more bad deals uh, and fewer good deals, there is no one perfect market. But if I had to distill down and figure out where, what the kind of common theme is among the better markets uh, compared to the worst markets, it's that the better markets are not the big popular markets that everyone is investing in and that everyone knows about. So when you think about the markets like, for example, uh, you know, the Smoky Mountains, or you think about big cities like New York or Miami or LA, or you think about really, really massively popular short-term rental destinations like Kissimmee, Florida, those markets just tend to kind of not make sense for investing uh, if you're specifically looking for the easiest time of finding good deals. Again, like I said before, you can find good deals in any of these markets. It just may be harder to do than looking in some kind of less well-known markets. And the reason for this is pretty simple. 